Hey guys, so a couple weeks ago I did a video on the Feather Friends Volant Jacket and I just wanted to do a follow-up video and show you what it looked like with me wearing it. I also wanted to address a couple questions that I got in the comments. So the first question that I got was on sizing. I am 5'10", 155 pounds, and this jacket is an extra large. Now normally I wear a size medium. If I were to have ordered a size large, I would have been okay. The jacket would have fit me. But with this being an extra large, I wanted to have room underneath the layer. I'm wearing right now just a t-shirt. Just a t-shirt and just a fleece jacket from L.L. Bean. And with this being an extra large, I definitely don't feel like it's too big. The jacket definitely fills up all the dead air space inside. Um, I don't know if I can get this on camera, but... There's definitely no no airspace it has interior pocket on both sides um, but the one of the reasons I wanted to order an extra large was for the sleeve length um, I have really long arms and I wanted something that covered my arms when they're fully extended um, a lot of times with a size medium um, this this will ride up so you can see it's not too cold out here today it's only like 50 degrees and this is this is way too warm for this kind of weather. Um, I've worn this down to minus one uh, in the mountains. I was wearing it in a hammock and I was having problems with my underquilt. And I just couldn't figure out how to get my underquilt snugged up underneath my hammock that night. And the temperature dropped down to minus one degree. And sometime around midnight, um, I just kind of said screw it and put this jacket on. And within 10 minutes I was asleep. I ended up waking up uh, like 7 30 in the morning my zero degree top quilt was actually not even covering my upper half it just kind of fell off and i was completely warm so if that kind of gives you any indication on how warm this jacket is so here's the jacket in the stuff sack i don't really have anything to compare it to out here but I'll roll in some pictures at the end next to a tape measure to give you an idea. So I'm going to compare this jacket to uh, the Rab Neutrino Endurance jacket and just show you what the difference is between the two. Okay, so here's the Rab Neutrino Endurance jacket. You can see it's a much smaller, lighter jacket. Um, and this is the size medium. And the surprising thing is, is that I actually have a little bit of dead airspace in here. Right in here. Um, it just, it doesn't loft out like the Volant does. Um, with the price that you pay, for this jacket, I think this is $379. Uh, the Volant, I think, is $409. So for, uh, what's the math, $30 more, you could have the Volant jacket. Now, I realize that I'm not comparing apples to apples. This is a sewn-through jacket. The Volant is a uh, baffle jacket. So you can keep that in mind. I do have issues with this jacket, especially at this price point. I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm going to do a separate video on that probably in the near future addressing those issues. I especially like how stuffed the sleeves are. That's one area that you can kind of look at other lesser jackets and tell where they kind of skip on the insulation or the down rather. Um, but these things are stuffed to the gills. So one of the issues that I have with the other, the, with the RAB specifically, is that when the pockets are open, cold air goes in and you can feel that cold air inside the jacket. Um, with these, you don't get that. For one, with the, uh, it kind of has an elastic around the uh, pocket opening, and it closes it up. And for two, there's insulation on both sides of the pocket. So you have an insulation layer here, and the inside is actually insulated as well. So you can see. Insulated, both sides. That makes a big difference, especially when you're in really cold weather. So the hood design on this is really good as well. I know it looks ridiculous, but again, it just fills out any dead airspace and there's a good probably two inches loft all the way around the hood. Um, Velcro on the hood and a drawstring around the hood opening. Around the waistband, you have a like I think it's called lycra. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but it's a kind of a semi 
it's a semi-elastic waist. Um, one of the questions that I had was if it had a drawstring around the waist, and it does not. Now, I have not had an issue with cold air coming in around the opening down here, and I think it's just because it has kind of the perfect balance between loft filling out that airspace and being just the sizing being spot on. So that's one of the negatives I think this jacket has is there's no drawstring around the waist. And I think for a two pound jacket, you're not gonna break the bank as far as weight goes putting in um, a one ounce drawstring. But honestly, I, I don't miss not having a drawstring. I didn't even notice that it didn't have one until I was asked that question. So I'm not real sure if it's necessary. So one of the other negatives, I think, I don't know if you can call it a negative, but it's just something that I've struggled with is the zipper. Um, it has a two-way zipper, so you can zip it up from the bottom. And sometimes it's just difficult to get the zipper zipped up. You really have to make sure both of the zippers are seated all the way down at the bottom before you insert the other side. And once, they're, once you do that, it zips up pretty easily, but sometimes it can get stuck on the stop just shy of bottoming out and you'll put the zipper in there and you'll be like why can't I get this up so that's one of the negatives um, it's not a, not a huge deal but it's just kind of the uh, one of the things that goes along with a two two-way zipper is that it just sometimes doesn't cooperate so the hood design is also excellent as well if I can get it on um, has velcro on the front this front is uh, stuffed with down velcros if I can find the uh, pull tab and you just pull it and you can cinch it shut pretty much all the way if you want um, I also want to note that the hood is also baffled as well as the rest of the jacket so this jacket definitely looks big and it is um, but that's how it's designed. It's designed to keep you warm in extremely cold weather. Alright guys I hope this video showcases what this jacket looks like a little better we have uh, some trip videos coming up hopefully in the near future, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.